Hi, my name is Shannon James Gillespie. And I've been looking online or on the internet lately, just a lot of different things going on in the USA and around the world. And today I wanna to talk about the human challenge. The human challenge to me uh, could be two different things, togetherness or division. I think at this time, you know, I want to just elaborate a little bit on what's going on in my brain. I got up at six o'clock this morning just because I was uh, thinking, thinking about, you know, the states, USA, or the state of the world and all of the different things that are going on. And I tried to come up with a, a solution, I guess, thinking about the problems. A lot of people say if you just think about the problems, uh, not a lot will happen. What is a solution to the human challenge, as I'm calling it? The human challenge again is uh, either division or separation or togetherness. I think ultimately we were put on this planet to be together, to figure out how to work together, to figure out how to get things done in the most productive way. I have a background in coaching. In fact, most of my adult life, that's what I've been professionally. One of the goals of coaching is to get the athletes to reach their full potential. And I sometimes use uh, some of the things I've learned in coaching in other parts of my life when I'm talking to athletes, uh, when I'm talking to my daughters, when I'm talking to myself, when I'm talking to my wife. In other words, I, you know, I put together a, a several bunch of different videos, high performance training videos and whatnot. <clears throat> Over the last, let's say 10 years or so, I've started to realize that, man, you know what, everything that we've been trying to teach the athletes and what coaches are trying to learn to perform at a high level, uh, those principles actually can be used in life for humans. The human challenge again is, you know, either division or togetherness. I think ultimately, again, we're put on this planet to be together. In order for us to reach that ultimate goal, we have to be able to communicate, negotiate, uh, figure out ways so that we can help one another. Instead of dividing uh, countries, cities, towns, schools, uh, governments, you know, I think I think all of that is important. Uh, I was thinking about this earlier and I, I didn't quite know how to put it into terms, maybe not to offend so many people. Uh, wars. Where, where do wars come from? Where was the first war? Why did the first war happen? Was that something to divide or bring together? That's a, you know, pretty good question, I think. Ultimately, you know, people are doing their jobs based on, you know, their employment history or the job that they're taking and in case of a war you know warriors or soldiers they're there to fight but why do we need to fight in the first place that's you know another challenging question I suggest the human challenge is for us to be together and in all that we are we have a lot of smart people in this world we have a lot of smart uh, institutions, universities, colleges, countries, you name it. There's a, there's a lot of smart people everywhere. If we all use our collective thought and try to help each other reach their maximum potential, I don't think anybody will get left out. I think that's a challenge. I think that's a challenge for us now. I think we need it here in the USA and abroad. I mean, the USA is uh, having some challenges now that I think we can overcome. I think we can overcome this adversity. Worldwide, I think there's a lot of challenges coming on or going on. I think those also can be overcome if we, again, uh, challenge ourselves with the human challenge to bring each other together so that each of us can reach our full potential.